So you lasted your shoes and you have here two many folds, thick folds that create this bulky back part of your shoes. So in this shoe making tutorial, I will explain you how to avoid it and how to rid of these folds. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So let's get started. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So this kind of problem I see a lot among beginners. And in my lessons, I explain, in my shoemaking program, I explain how to avoid this one of the most common mistakes that beginners make. And it's happened during pattern making. And right now, I will show you what is the problem and how to avoid it. So, why we have here too much material, too much upper, is because during pattern making, you create the, the line of your shoe pattern too flat. And as a result of it, you have here a big gap between shoe last and your upper. And you can see it clearly when you check your pattern from paper, like I explained in my lessons. And what you need to pay your attention on is on this place. When you check your pattern, the gap between your upper or pattern from paper, the gap must be not more than two millimeters why we still need to have this extra two millimeters is because we will have later lining and stiffeners and we need to calculate this all these materials that's why the gap between your upper pattern and shoe last shape is not more than two millimeters when you have more than two millimeters you will have this situation with big amount of folds so when you will close it, you will have here thick folds, okay? Right now I will show you how it must be. An example of this pattern. You see, I even don't need to close it. It already has the exact shape. And when I will pull it with, with the pliers to close all these folds, I will not have to work too hard here. You see, because I have very tiny folds. And this is how it must be. So right now let's take a look let's take a look on this pattern. You remember I talked about the right curve of the of the pattern where the gap between shoe last and your pattern is not uh, is not more than 2 mm. And when you will look on this line of your back pattern I see it immediately maybe you're not but observe this line is too flat regarding the shape of our, if you compare it with the shape of our shoe last, you see it has curved shape, rounded shape, and here I have two flat lines. So because of this mistake, that one of the most common mistakes that beginners do, uh, you will have this big amount of faults. So how to fix this problem? It's very easy. You need to cut extra from the bottom part of your back line on the pattern of your shoes if it's boots or if it's oxford shoes or flat body shoes doesn't important what type of footwear it's important how to fix it how uh, how uh, to know how to fix it so what we need to do is we need to find approximately the middle of this line by eyes of course you can measure it and find it calculate it exactly okay but it's you can do it by eyes approximately in the middle of this line is here and then starting from this point i will cut from the edge about three millimeters so in total it will be six millimeters because it's three millimeters on one side and three millimeters on the other side totally it will be six millimeters okay usually it's not more than three four millimeters don't exaggerate with the cutting because if you will cut it too much you will have here bump because it will be too curved and you will have here bump and it will be very difficult to flatten it okay so we start from two millimeters three millimeters you can mark here three millimeters or two millimeters and then you need to draw 
very smooth line that starting on zero here and need to arrive to this point very smoothly. Like this, you see? If I will make it more than three millimeters, for example, five millimeters, I will have here too much chord line. And because of it, here I will have a bump in this area. Here, it will be very difficult to close it, to flatten it, okay? So that's why to fix this mistake, start to cut it from two millimeters. And then you need to check again your pattern and check it from paper. See to see if what you corrected is enough. Now I repeat it again, it's very important to have here very smooth line without any bumps, okay? It must be with round shape, but looks like one smooth line, okay? That's it. After you will fix your basic pattern, this is a basic pattern. Check it how the pattern looks on the shoe last. And only then if you see that you corrected enough, you can continue and create lining pattern and stiffness. That will depend on the, the correctness of all these parts that you will create will depend on the correctness of your basic pattern. So that's why it's very important to check well your basic pattern before you move on to the next steps of your work. That's it. This is how your shoes will look more professional, more clean. Now, what you know about steel shanks? Do you want to know where to place it, where to place it, how to create exact shape that will fit the shape of your shoe last? If you want to know more about it, please comment below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you and I'm waiting for your comments. Bye!